హలో వెల్కమ్ టు ద సిఓ డిజిఎన్ లా యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ డు యూ లైక్ టు లర్న్ ఫైవ్ ఇంటరెస్టింగ్ అండ్ థాట్ ప్రొవోకింగ్ జనరల్ నాలెడ్జ్ అండ్ కరెంట్ అఫైర్స్ రిలేటెడ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫర్ డేటెడ్ ట్వంటీ సెకండ్ సెప్టెంబర్ టూ థౌసండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ హియర్ ఐఎమ్ గోయిన్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఈచ్ క్వశ్చన్ బ్రీఫ్లీ ఆర్ యూ రెడీ so as a common rule we start with uh, these questions uh, quote of the day by abu bakr as per uh, abu bakr without knowledge action is uh, useless and the knowledge without action is uh, futile repeating without knowledge action is useless and uh, knowledge without action is a uh, futile its meaning in hindi is gyan ke bina karm vyardh hai aur karm ke bina gyan vyardh hai phir dohra raha hu gyan ke bina karm vyardh hai aur karm ke bina gyan vyardh hai now i am going to start uh, today's uh, quiz questions here you can see the first quiz question aran finch recently retired from odi cricket against which team did he play his last odi repeating the question aran finch recently retired from odi cricket against which team did he play his last odi it is a, undoubtedly a great feast for the cricket lovers here the options are new zealand west indies pakistan india which one you are guessing if your guess answer is uh, the first one that is new zealand then you are right i am adding some more interesting info about uh, aran finch do you know the full name of uh, aran finch Aaron James Finch is his full name. He was born on 17th November 1986 in Colac, Victoria, Australia. He is an Australian international cricketer who captains the Australian cricket team in T20I and previously in ODI. Finch recently holds the record for two of the three highest individual scores in 2020 internationals he has scored of 172 against zimbabwe in july 2018 beating is a previous record of 156 against england in 2013 in july 2018 he became the first player to reach 900 rating points on the official international cricket council icc international cricket council t20i rankings he made his test debut for australia in uh, october 2018 on 10th september 2022 finch announced uh, his retirement from odi cricket uh, ahead of the third odi against uh, new zealand but uh, still plans to play in uh, t20is so aran finch recently retired from odi cricket uh, against new zealand team uh, he played his last odi so i'm clicking on first option new zealand so that said came here moving to the second question the youtube show Bialik Breakdown focusing on mental health features the actor who played which character on the Big Bang Theory 
very interesting question repeating the youtube show bialik breakdown focusing on mental health features the actor who played which character on the big bang theory here the options are penny ami bernadette beverly which one you are guessing if your guess answer is uh, the second one that is uh, ami a m y ami then you are right uh, i am adding some info about this question in january 2021 bailik started uh, the podcast uh, mayim bailik's uh, breakdown it is a quick informative and interactive podcast breaking down the myths and the uh, misunderstandings about uh, mental health and emotional well-being ami farah faula is a fictional character in uh, the cbs television series uh, the big bang theory portrayed by mayim bailik ami is uh, a neuroscientist and uh, sheldon's that is uh, jim parsons love interest and girlfriend in the series she has a phd in uh, neurobiology ami goes on to win the nobel prize in physics alongside her husband sheldon cooper so the youtube show bialik breakdown focusing on mental health features the actor who played ami character on the big bang theory so i'm clicking on second option ami so the side came here and moving to the third question which country will assume presidency of the g20 from december 1st 2022 to november 30 2023 repeating the question which country will assume presidency of the g20 from december 1st 2022 to november 30 2023 here the options are china south africa india brazil which one you are guessing if your guess answer is uh, the third one that is india then you are right i am adding some more info india will host the g20 leaders summit in uh, new delhi on september 9th and uh, 10th in uh, 2023 and uh, its presidency India as a G20 presidency will be inviting Bangladesh, Egypt, Mauritius, Netherlands, Nigeria, Oman, Singapore, Spain and UAE as a guest countries. So India will assume presidency of the G20 from December 1st 2022 to November 30 2023. so i'm clicking on third option india so the said came here and moving to the fourth question and also first team is of today's quiz questions look at the image this is the flag of which country so how many members can identify the flag here three bands are there black yellow and red so i think it is undoubtedly a great feast to the social students especially repeating the question this is the flag of which country here the options are romania germany belgium moldova which one you are guessing if your guess answer is the third one that is belgium then you are right i am adding some interesting information about this flag the national flag of belgium in dutch language it is called vlag van belgi in german language it is called flaggy belgians it is a tricolor consisting of three equal vertical bands displaying 
the national colors of Belgium, black, yellow and red. The colors were taken from the coat of arms of the Duchy of Brabant and the vertical design may be based on the flag of France. When flown, the black band is nearest the pole, that is at the host side. So, this is the flag of a Belgium country. So, I am clicking on third option, Belgium. So, the side came here. And moving to the final question and also second image of today's quiz question, sir. So, look at the image. The seal of which U.S. state features this animal? Very interesting question. And undoubtedly, it is a thought-provoking for each and everyone who are watching this. Repeating, the seal of which U.S. state features this animal? So, how many members can guess this animal? Then, if you know the animal, then you can uh, somewhat guess it. Here the options are uh, Alaska, Maine, Michigan, New Hampshire. Which one you are guessing? If your guess answer is uh, Michigan, the third one, then you are right. And uh, what do you know about the animal? This is uh, the moose, M-O-O-S-E, moose. This animal is called the moose in North America or uh, elk in uh, Eurasia, E-L-K, elk in uh, Eurasia. It is uh, a member of the New World Deer subfamily and uh, is uh, the largest and uh, heaviest extant species in the deer family. Currently, most moose occur in Canada, Alaska, New England, ETC. And uh, about uh, the seal of uh, Michigan, the great seal of the state of Michigan depicts uh, the coat of arms of the U.S. state of Michigan on a light blue field. On the dark blue shield, the sun rises over a lake and peninsula, a man holding a long gun with uh, a raised hand represents uh, peace and uh, the ability to defend his uh, rights. The elk, elk, elk and moose are symbols of uh, Michigan, while the bald eagle represents the United States. Do you know when did uh, the seal uh, adapt? The seal was adapted uh, in the year of uh, 1835 on June 22nd. So, the seal of Michigan State features uh, moose animal. So, I think uh, most of your guest answers, right? Keep learning. Enhance your wide and dynamic learning skills by watching this uh, thrilled and uh, exciting questions every day. So, as per the question, the correct answer is uh, the third one that is uh, Michigan. So, I am clicking on Michigan. So, the side came here. Dhanyavad. Thank you. If you like this video, do like, subscribe and share. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.